I am so lucky to have Colin, this fabulous musician here with us today. Colin, thank you. Thank you for chatting. Camilla, I couldn't <laughs> think of anything better. What a lovely day for it. <laughs> I know, it's so great to have you. Now, I'm a huge fan. You are one of the most talented Australian musicians ever. Ah. You've been part of all these brilliant bands. Um, we'll get into that in a second, but how did you come to be in music? Did you like grow up with it? Was it uh, uh, well, I think I was just in, I'm born with it, Camilla. I mean, right. Music is my, my life, it's my blood, it flows from my veins, yeah. so it's like anything else. But without music, I feel um, there's nothing. I've got to have, it's got to have music every day, yeah. otherwise I'm, it's, it's not, my life's not worth living. Yeah. yeah. You play the drums, the guitar. Oh, I play a bit of everything. I, I play the fool mainly. Yeah. Uh, but, well, uh, got to have that. Oh, yeah, well, well you know. <laughs> But is it true that you learned drums in detention at school? Is that well, uh, uh, they, I used to get sent to detention every day, <laughs> and there happened to be drums in the room. So if that led to me playing, you know, I'd say well, yes. Well, you should thank the teachers because oh, oh, yeah, we should all thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for helping me. Well, tell me about the master's apprentice. You were never in one place for more than uh, ten minutes or fifteen minutes because you were always in demand somewhere. At that stage, we used to do five, six gigs, sometimes seven gigs a night, and wow. three different states. Every day used to be like that, so it was, it was a whirlwind. You were never stopped. And I loved every moment. It's just like anything else, you've just got to keep at it hard. I yeah. mean, rehearse too, I mean, don't just think, I, I know enough now. I mean, you keep rehearsing, it doesn't matter how old you get, just keep playing. All that, so I've spent a lot of time with writing music. Oh, yes. So how do you how do you write a song? I mean, I can't write anything. It, uh, it comes, it's, it's like the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees will tell you they'll, they'll write a song, uh, and it'll take them ten minutes to write a song. Boom, wow. bang, and yet they'll spend hours or days in another one, and the ten minute one will be a thousand times better than the other. How did you get into ACDC? That tiny little band that no one's really heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? Hopefully they're doing well, you know. Yeah, they're, well, yeah. <laughs> they're still around. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind to be still playing with them, is it? Yeah. No, no, the, uh, actually how that happened, I came back from England after the Masters had, had split up and uh, this guy I know called Alan Kiesak rang and said, look, this is a guy that wants to do a jam, would you be interested? I said, yeah, why not, let's go along for a jam. And we went along for the jam and I met Malcolm Young and from there, and oh, wow. it just started, it and, 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 what if, and we keeps to come along. And then he said, my brother plays guitar. He said, we can't bring him on. So Angus comes, and then he joins the band, and whoo. From there, it's just so And you were right. the original drummer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you live the rock and roll lifestyle? Oh, well, I mean, coming from the Masters, I was in a position um, to play with the band, and, uh, and what a What a great fantastic. experience. I, I love it. I mean, the, I love the success they're having. I haven't got the money they've got. But I love the success they're still having, and they deserve every moment of it. Uh, there's no doubt about well, it. Well, you're very successful. Now, you are part of the Dead Singers Band. The Dead Singers Band, yeah. I know everyone in the business, from Billy Thorpe to whoever it is, to Little Patty to Diane, to Chrissy Amphlett, to everyone. So we, uh, they died, uh, pay tribute to these people. We thought, why not put a show together so we, that we can pay tribute to them and make it a documentary yeah. as a, as a uh, thing because they are all fantastic musicians, they all had yeah. number one records, they were all the, the craziest people and the loveliest people and the Stead Singer Band is just pay, is paying homage to these people yeah. for being so, so great and they all were, that was You marvelous. guys are great, you really are. And it's who, who better to pay homage to the people that actually knew That's right, that's that's, that's the thing, that's the, the reason why we do it. We, don't, we do know them. It's like the rock and roll family. Oh, that's cool. Oh. So, what do you think is the future of Australian music? There's going to be some bands come out of Australia that's going to be the next big thing. Because there's a lot of good... I, I mean, I, I'd, love to, I'd love to get... And see, you've, 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 Camilla, you've done something before we're here. Right. You might have started me off. I think it's a good idea. I might get some, some pick some musas together and put them together in a what? band. That's a great idea. Yeah. Can I come ah. and play the triangle? All right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but who have you been your big influences in, in your life, you know, music-wise? Um, Led Zeppelin, of course. Yeah. Uh, how could you not go from Led Zeppelin? Well, thank you so much. Camilla, you are a wonderful girl. Let me know when the tour starts. I'll be there. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Thank, for thank you, Camilla. All right, guys. We'll see you again next time. Thank Thanks for, for watching. Time.